Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nurmek. Welcome back to more Stone Half. Um, a few things happened off camera. Uh, mainly, it's Mur again appearing three times. That's a little bit weird. But no, we've got some more quests for us to work through, so I figured might as well just start it by uh, diving right on in. So, uh, one last thing. Hello again, you've got a bustling little town here. Maybe it's time to stop thinking of your next adventure. So this is all about re-embarking. I'm not sure why we got it three times, but essentially he'll go on about, oh, you can start a new town and carry people over from this town, if that makes sense. So it kind of gives you a head start. Say, say I don't know, we don't want to spend forever getting a blacksmith or something. We can we can drag our current one over, if that makes sense. It gives you a little bit of a head start on a new slate. Um, I was meant to do that for this series, but as I'm sure you're all aware, my computer died and I can't couldn't really carry it over because I lost all my files. Anyway, uh, we've got some other things though. Uh, new adventure awaits. Um, I wish there was a way to. Re oh, oh, there is. Okay. Well, strange trading. Uh, raw vegetables. <laughs> okay, so that was really all the content we had lined up. Okay. Well, um, you'd be good to know that the storage crisis is still ongoing, but it's get it's getting closer to not not being such a problem. In fact, I dare say we might be able to solve it right now. Um, so. And these are Hulk of Felspar. Those sound unique and something I should probably keep a hold of. But I mean, there's, there's random stuff here. I, I don't think we need it. So can we just like... This whole chunk here just... How does that impact our storage situation? Does that open things up? Huh. So it doesn't... It could... Maybe that's just my... Maybe it's stuff exclusively in the storage area. In which case... Um... Our, ooh, okay, so it's bringing us over here to some tin ore. Uh, I can't actually see where it's been highlighted, but... Huh. Okay, so maybe if we erase some stuff in our stockpiles, that might solve it. Because we don't need all this copper. I think we can all agree. So maybe we start off by being a little bit proactive and just... Nuking all of this? As I have an impact? I'm... I'm seeing... I'm, okay, I'm, see, I'm seeing results. Okay. So in the name of actually being productive and my entire time not, not starving to death... I figure we can, uh, yeah, we can take some of this stuff out. Like I said, we don't, we don't need all these ores. It was, I got a little bit ahead of myself in mining. Obviously, I didn't realize we were gonna fill up that quickly, but I don't know. We, uh, we get that, and I think, I think, yeah. Okay, we've got, we've got a nice little sp bit of space to move with, and if we, uh, you know, we get another spot of bother, we can uh, nuke those from existence again. Although, actually, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you've got me excited because what we've essentially got here is a pile of things I'll never use. So, um, okay, I might be getting a little bit carried away with myself, but we, in, in, th in theory, in theory, in, 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 in theory, I would never do it. In, nah, nah. Oh, that square feels surreal to see, but I'll take it. Uh, we need to start selling these as an export as a way to free up some more space, which is like, I tried to stay away from those. I might have hit one or two, but for our storage crisis, I'm glad to say we have found a solution. Um, sorry if you can hear seagulls outside too. They've been doing that all day. Stupid, annoying, I hate them, and why I sent people over here to harvest these guys? Oh yeah, these are like the rare green herbs I've been looking for most of the series. Ha, huh, okay. Well, um, so what does that leave us with then? Um, well, this stuff's ready to be harvested, so... Yeah, it actually looks as though... I mean, let's see, are the farmers slacking off again? They probably are. Oh yeah, okay, no, not, okay, I suppose it's getting late in the day, but... It should mean our food crisis is about to end. We're sitting at how much? 2748. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's not the worst either. Uh, I think, actually. Okay, I did not mean to click on that. That should mean that the hunter kicks back into gear 2, right? Like, I'm sure if it doesn't. Actually. Oh, now I've, now I've figured out that we can do that to delete items. We could do it here. Which means that this is all freed up and someone could actually fill this in after however many episodes this has been here. Hmm. Now, I've got a good feeling about this. This is. It's nice. Now I know I can snap items out of existence rather than having to, like, sell them. That is a really important piece of information. And now we're going to fill up our storage again by killing some more enemies. Hell yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, I never learned, but, I mean, at least now we can actually delete those items before they start, you know, clocking up our inventory. I don't think there are any other enemy camps around here, so... I guess... Hmm, what should we do? I mean, it'd be good to know that now... We kind of don't have to have our blacksmith working 24-7, although, yeah, I guess we'll see. I think, I think the moral of the story, though, is that 
don't don't go over the top on mining. I think I think mining is what shot us in the foot. I mean, you can you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I I think if we, if we if we just do a little bit of an X-ray, we we mined a moderate. Oh my god, that looks really weird and surreal. But now we've mined a moderate amount, like a, a moderate amount. <laughs> oh, okay, as a okay, we may we may have mined a large amount of space, but huh. Oh, this is where I was trying to build that building, it fell. I was, I was wondering why that was there. Nah, but, yeah, more of the story, don't go overboard on mining. I think that's a, a fair assessment to make. But, now the question is, right, the question is now, is this the last episode? That might sound weird to come out of left field. We finally solved the storage crisis, but is there anything else for us to work towards? Um, I think we have the brewer that we can take a little bit of time to uh, get to know. But besides them, is there any other jobs for us to look into? Because I, I will stay away from Engineer and Geomancer. I think they are far too much of a nuisance and needlessly extended the series last time. But I dare say this might be the last episode. Which, in that event, in that event... Okay, you know I'm going to say? I'm going to say. This is probably the last episode, actually, now I think about it. What we're going to do is we're going to... We're gonna, we're gonna let the Sam's people celebrate with the new brewers. So we're gonna let these people do whatever they want now, so they're not regulated to just doing their job. And uh, that seems like a, that seems like a good first step. This person can finally do something after hours of slaving away at that damn anvil. But I figure we might as well you know, go, go out of the bank and start brewing some uh, brewing some drinks. I, have, I doubt it's gonna be as easy as uh, one, two, three, but yeah, it's worth a shot. Uh, but what are we missing here? Are we we. Are mi Oh, so the, that's why these guys were behind, too. I guess we'll throw some random drink in there. And that, that makes sense, actually, why this was never finished, because they were not harvesting silkweed. Ah, that kind of makes sense. I assume the same thing's over here. Yeah, it's cloth that we literally didn't have. Huh. Well, it means we can, these guys can finally get finished, which is, you know, pretty nice. But uh, the question is, where did I put all my brewer stuff? Um, daily update. See, food actually went up there. Do we actually have a, yeah, we have a brewer's station, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, God. Is there a way to, like, clear the queue immediately? Because that is horrific. Um, okay, can I, there's not an option to clear all orders. No, we just got to spam click. Okay, I'm always somewhat effective. Okay, those guys are, like, way out of their leagues to craft right now. Yeah, I think the auto craft mod has definitely shot us in the foot, too. But that brewer's table, why did I, did I have this outside somewhere? So I didn't figure out anywhere else to put it. Ah, no, I must have moved it somewhere, but I don't have a single clue as to where. Oh, unless me, maybe, unless maybe. Maybe. I don't actually have a placed workstation, because there's nothing available to craft there. Thank you, autosave. You keep being you, you wonderful bastard. Uh, here we are, though. Right, so this looks like a very herbalisty area. Uh, I'm not sure how people would get in here, actually, but, you know, uh, we'll leave the details for later. Is there anywhere in here I could, like, technically set up a brewery? I mean, maybe we just have them around the back brewing. I mean, sure, sure, it, it'd be aesthetic. Do we have, do we have any extra lamps to throw around, too? Ooh, we've got fungi. Um, do we have any, oh, we have an extra lamp, so I figure if we pull the walls up again, we fix, like, a little, <laughs> this is so depressing. Oh, he's gonna be working outside, we just, we just fix that little, uh, fix, fix that little, like, to the wall there. Um, is, does that look appealing? No, but you know, it, 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 it's the aesthetic that counts. If I can just get the, get the aesthetic to actually stay tethered to reality for a brief moment. What is it? Is, oh, is, is it conflicting because it doesn't want to be placed? In which case, I guess. What do you mean we can't put it on the tree? I was looking forward to that. We can put it, we can put it here, but not there. There's so many. Okay, fine. It goes there. Uh, enough is enough. And we, we just want to brew up a nice going away party for this town. And then we never open the game again. Because <laughs> I'll be honest, every single series of this, besides maybe the first one, has been a complete and utter train wreck. Like, seriously, you can look at series two, we had an equal amount of problems. But, but this was on a whole other level. My entire, like, village was starving at one point. Yeah, I think I think we should learn our lesson and not torment the virtual AI, AI any more than we need to. <laughs> like, it just seems morally correct. Anyway, what are, the, what are these guys doing? Where are they taking this? Is oh, okay. So the cooks have been doing things. So they're they're re oh, that's nice. He's actually making like a going away meal. <laughs> oh god, do I still have all my maintainers from before? 
Okay, I can just remove that. And this is actually decent. Yeah, okay, it's like a little going away party. There's nothing to officially hold on in game, but you know, we might as well, we might as well blow our, our remaining budget, if you will. Um, okay, that is definitely a good way to spend that budget. Fisherman soup, yes sir. Slice of roast fish, caviar, mm, anything for these fine gentlemen. Uh, cooking ingredients, no. No, we don't have time to cook. We have time only to celebrate. Hell yeah, I have a feeling this is going to boost morale in this town for the first time in a, in a very long time. Now, I say we get down to brewing. But I have, okay, so let's, let's get a warm habit sign going first. But, now I'm interested in this. How do we do... Is there anything that we can craft that's level 1? There is, but we need berries, and then we need... Cherry, cherry, prickly bear. I don't think we have those, but we can we can get ourselves some berries. Okay, so yeah, it's like we're doing things with purpose for once. Jeez, I know. Anyway, I mean, wait, wait to be saying bye to this game, but uh, I'll be honest. I think my villagers are not going to be saying uh saying that negatively. Now that sentence didn't make any sense. I, I haven't been making sense for a lot of today. I'm not sure why. Like I've, I've been pig latining a lot of my words. So I'll like invert the first letter of two words I was going to say in a phrase. It's not fun. I sound like an idiot. I'm losing it. I, I don't know what's causing it, but uh, it doesn't seem my brain wants to cooperate today, which is fine. But see, now I've made myself aware of it. I hopefully, hopefully I don't slip up as much. I, I, I know what can be. Playing 6D chess over here, I'm sure. Anyway, are there any of the berry bushes in the nearby area that we can... Uh, Quickly run over to give a little bit of a harvest. I would not be complaining if there were, just saying. See, they stand out less in uh, the autumn month because, surprisingly, um, all the leaves are gone, so they don't stand out as much. Like before, they were green and purple and they could stick out, but now it's the middle of the night and a bit dark. <laughs> anyway, okay, it seems people are starting to roll up and start to harvest. There's not much else to do in the town currently. So, in that event, I say we get ourselves some, uh, some berry juice on the go. Hell yeah. And now where is our brewer actually? That is a good point. Okay, they're asleep. Fine, fine. Sleep for now, I guess. Um, you know, it, may, it makes sense. You know, let's everybody else harvest some stuff. Uh, but I don't think there's anywhere else that we can actually harvest berries. So, nah. Ten drinks definitely isn't enough to feel, feed the whole town, is it? I have a feeling we'll get a little bit more than we bargained for, so... So the one server, has everything been hard? Oh, that was that was awfully effective, uh, considering this town. And it's turning to winter. <laughs> okay, so we're about to run out of berries extremely fast. Um, I, should, I should probably harvest them before they... Uh, do they die off in the winter? I'll say they do, just as a precaution, I think. Have I got... Have I got every last berry that's, like, within my line of sight? I'd say so. We'll let the harvest rest. But, dawn of a new day. Mr. Brewer, I see you collecting ingredients in the bottom left. So we should just be able to... Uh, are we, why, why are we crafting two of the signs? It's not, it's not how it's meant to work. Anyway, we can craft five more of these, which, I, which I'm happy about. But boost, yeah, boost the morale a little bit. It means people can start getting drunk. And <laughs> that sounds awfully ominous. But, hmm. So, um, while he's actually on the juice and the sign stuff and whatnot, I want to see what else he can make. Um, so preparation, very must. Treading that, yes. We need to be level two to get a lot of the stuff going. So for now, everyone's just going to be eating berry juice. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, our food shop, 700 points in the sink. That's what happens when your storage isn't clogged to high hell and back. Ooh, okay, there were berries right here that I managed to miss. Nice going. Anyway, we'll, we'll map those, you know, the more the merrier, as they say. The more the barrier, if you will. <laughs> now, I wonder why our food shut up so much. Oh, yeah, because we, we bought out a guy's entire stock. That, that would make sense. Why Why are you stuck? Are you are you stuck in a wall? How? How does that even, how does that even happen? How, how, how does that even, even happen? So, so you weren't even stuck in the wall. Like, you weren't that much of an idiot. You just decided there would be a nice place to set up residence. Okay. Well, we see we've got a little expedition coming out here, grabbing more berries. Yeah, it feels like the whole town's coming together to get some berry juice and nothing else, because <laughs> that's the only ingredient we can find, apparently. Okay, but uh, let him craft this uh, neat old sign. And, ooh! Oh, that looks cool! 
Oh, that's real nice. Ah, that, that, that's cool, that. I wish there was a way that we could remove all these ladders, but... Oh, God, are these people actually drinking it in here? I'd, I'd rather if you finished the building, but, you know, I guess. Ooh, berry juice is actually being stored in... I didn't even realise that, but I picked it to go in there anyway. We might as well double up on that storage, because there's going to be a damn lot of it. Oh, and that door open. There's been so much I haven't known because the game's, like, holding me back. Ha, huh, but... Oh, what about the weaver, actually? See, if we could get this stuff finished... This oh, God, crikey, what... What happened here? Oh, God. Oh. Right. I'm not one to judge, but I think 187 craft orders is slightly, slightly deranged. Just, just ever so slightly. Just, what, what, let's start clicking now, and maybe by the end of this episode, we might actually have, um, you know, a queue which isn't just three lots of thatched twine bundle the entire way through. Like, it, it's physically lagging <laughs> to unload this. How, how did I get it, let it get that out of control? It, this is why there needs to be a mass cancelling button. Do I have two weavers? What? I, I think I think I think the game itself is destabilizing. Okay, we we need to get rid of that big fourth order. Um, I think the game is actively destabilizing because of how much stuff is stuffed in here. Oh, we we just got to commit to the cause, don't we? We we've got to commit to the cause and keep going. <laughs> like if we want these buildings to be finished, then we need them to actually, well, you know, you know, work. Um, oh, damn that. That sucks that there's not an easy way to remove all of that. I'm, j I'm just saying, Radiant Entertainment, or and or Ace Devs, whoever ends up watching this, if you if you do, that is. Um, perhaps, um, perhaps a mass delete button might be uh, uh, in the cards for the next update. Just saying, you know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still slightly salty over the fact that the original devs were bought and uh, moved on to one of the project. Just, just saying. If you're wondering why this game actually hasn't had any updates, why I'm playing with the uh, spicy old Ace mod, that's why. Uh, because the devs were... I don't, I don't want to say who it was, because I don't know. I think it was Blizzard, Blizzard maybe? But they, they moved to like, work on some other game. And rush this one's being finished. Which kind of sucks. Um, but I think on that note, actually, talking about finishing things, um, we probably aren't finishing this one with that boss fight. This is probably the last episode. Mainly for my sanity, because <laughs> I'll be on the starting of another series of Stonehearth. Probably one of the smartest move in human history. And that's just, that might just be me, but personally, there probably wasn't enough content in this mod to quantify a new series. But I, I had a fair bit of fun, I had a fair bit of fun. Whoa! What the fuck was I doing there? Okay, so you can tell which one of these were like, manually queued up and which one of these weren't. Anyway, we're, we're in the end game now, fellas, I promise. We'll, uh, we'll come back to that, actually. We'll let, them, we'll let them clear through that in their own time. But, um, don't tell me you've gone to bed again. No! Give me my sign! That's all I want. Oh, I want my sign. Ooh! Hang on, that looks cool! Fruit spirit. Provides 24 cups of fruit spirit needs to be placed down before being used. And what's fruit spirit? Ooh! Ooh! Oh, okay. There's like actual depth to this. I can get my entire town pissed drunk. But I assume... Okay, now they're still working through the night. Um, have they built the sign, actually? That is a important question that needs answering. <gasps> Okay, so we can he can have his little he can have his little sign out here. Oh, this is, this is nice. This is, this is a nice like wholesome way to end the series. I uh, will delete that second order then. Um, Joe Boxen arrives with a basket of bins. Ooh, actually, can we sell all that copper that we've been stockpiling? Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, since it seems that's going to take a while to resolve, I think you know what this means. Well, would you look at that? It finished the building in a single go. I'm. I'm as surprised as you are, no cheat console was used in the construction of that building, no sir. Anyway, I think on that note, I might just end it here. Uh, better to uh, finish it earlier than this. <laughs> okay, phase through the world one more time. Um, I figure I might end it just here. I think it's a nice note to end on. We, we, we did miss the brewer, he's, he's having a merry old time. But I figure this might be a nice one to end it on. Let's, let's get a nice little screenshot to round it out. Of course, of course it had to come in the in-game winter. Uh, when nothing looks appealing, but yeah, with thumbnails with thumbnails, let's, let's take that. I'd say that's a pretty nice one to go out on. Okay, why? okay that is moaning about <laughs> me deleting stuff from the Weaver's Craft menu. So before the game uh, crashes on me, uh, for the last time, if you did enjoy this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some other stuff, because this one's ending. And I think until next time, I'm going to leave this here. So with all said, all that aside, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Noramic, and peace.
out.